Good morning, Garrowood. Do you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Life Principle of the Month Patriotism Love for or devotion to one's country America is another name for opportunity. Ralph Waldo Emerson Expectation number one. We will value one another as unique and special individuals. Expectation number two. We will not laugh at or make fun of a person's mistakes, nor use sarcasm or put down. Expectation number three. We will use good manners saying please, thank you, and excuse me, and allow others to go first. Expectation number four. We will cheer each other to success. Expectation number five. We will help one another whenever possible. Expectation number six. We will recognize and be effort and applaud it. Expectation number seven. We will encourage each other to do our best. And expectation number eight. We will practice virtue living and using the life principles. I will have a positive attitude and show respect. I am responsible and I will demonstrate safety at all times. I will, you will, we all will show excellence at Airwood. Because eagles soar with pride. Hey eagles, you have had a great week. I've got to pop in on a lot of the remote learning happening this week. And I'm just so proud of the transition that you and all of your teachers have made this week. I know it wasn't easy. I know that sometimes it's super frustrating when you get kicked out of a Google Meet, you forget to unmute yourself and you've got that really great idea. You forget to click submit on some of that work. Um, but just keep being rock stars. We know that this is a tough time on all of us. So if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask your teacher, shoot me an email, call Mrs. Bell. We've got so many different people here to help you out right now. So don't um, forget to ask for that when you need it. It's okay to be sad and miss our friends. I know that several people have told me that maybe they shed some tears over losing the time together face to face and that's okay. It's also okay to sort of be relieved to be at home too. So remember all of those different things that we've been working on with Mrs. Bell, like our five finger breathing. Remember when we go up our fingers, we're going to take a nice deep breath in and we go trace our fingers back down. We're going to take that exhale out because <sighs> I know that I like that one or hot cocoa breathing. Smell the hot cocoa. It's a good one for right now, right? <sighs> Blow on it to cool it off. You can also take a walk. It's such a nice night tonight. It's a great time to just get out, stretch your legs, you can call a friend and you can also check in on your classes. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Next week is Thanksgiving. So we're going to take a break off of the Friday morning announcements because hopefully you're all having some fun with your families and just enjoying that time away. We'll have two half days on Monday and Tuesday for our virtual parent teacher conferences. So that way, your teachers can brag about all the amazing things that you are doing each day and maybe some of the things that we need to work on as we keep going through this. Keep it up Eagles. You got this. You could soar anywhere, wherever you're at, you can do this. And if not, you're going to ask for help. Make a great day. Here are our pride students of the week. Congratulations to third graders, Journey Young, Logan Boyer, 
Jade Schiebner, Hannah Lavere, Bailey Thorold, Delwyn Woods, congratulations to fourth graders, Elliot Glasley, Gabby Rulig, Dariah White, Caleb Cork, and Shane Hamilton. And congratulations to fifth graders, Nolan Scott, J.D. Braun, Devin Selk, and Samantha Mills. Happy Thanksgiving, Eagles. Make it a great day.